Next one up is Kenichi Gorimoto. Thank you for coming. And he's going to talk about Nayuta and Taminyan. Is that the proper pronunciation? OK, here you go. Hello, I'm Kenichi Kurimoto, CEO of Nayuta. Today, I will deliver a presentation entitled Introduction of Nayuta and Taminyan. The following is today's agenda. First, I will introduce our team. Next, I will explain about Tamian, which is our original writing network software. Finally, I will explain the electric vehicle charge proof of concept experiment conducted with a Japanese large electric power company using that Tamian software. We have five full-time members and several part-time members. I, Kurimoto, am in charge of business and uh, the development directions. I have over 15 years of design experience with uh, system on chip design and uh, Internet of Things design. Additionally, I served as the Smart City Division Chairperson of BCCC, the blockchain collaborative consortium. It's the largest blockchain consortium in Japan. Ueno is a lead developer of our own writing network software called Termian. He has over 15 years of experience in embedded software development. Moriyama handles uh, public relations. And Gondo is our senior protocol engineer. Before he joined our team, he had played a key role for over 10 years in industrial digital rights management protocol stack. Today, uh, our newest team member joined us. Mr. Nimi is our front-end designer. Naita is located in Fukuoka City which is in Western Japan. Fukuoka is one of the fastest growing startup, startup hubs in Japan. And we conducted many types of R&D before we obtained venture capital investment in August 2017. Also in 2015, we developed a smart plug using Bitcoin first layer. And Knight has participated in several contests. We won third prize in the Wanshan Global Blockchain Challenge and the Semi Grand Prix at the MUFG Accelerator held by Japanese largest bank. The right, the right side of this slide shows our project using Ethereum blockchain instead of Bitcoin. We conduct P2P data market proof of concept experiment in conjunction with Japanese local government. In this project, we use Ethereum consortium blockchain because there was no stable consortium chain in existence at that time. We modified an Ethereum public chain source code. And we also joined the uh, large Japanese financial institute, institute proof of concept and uh, developed a Solidity smart contract. So Knight has two unique features. One, uh, we can develop in-house both hardware and software of Internet of Things system. Two, we can develop both Bitcoin and Ethereum related systems. Uh, even before I established NIOTA, I thought the combination of uh, Internet of Things and blockchain could create a whole new system to improve society. We believe this challenge is a long-term project. We continue to make effort. Okay, in this section, I'd like to explain our own writing network software called Tamian. 
Uh, I shall begin with some of the historical background, uh, our reasons for developing our own Lightning Network software. Uh, in 2015, we developed a smart electrical plug which used blockchain for the rights management. At that time, uh, few people understand the word IoT and blockchain. Uh, we had no idea how to implement the concept. Uh, I believe it, we, should begin, uh, we should begin with something easy to understand. We demonstrated this prototype with an example, example of use as described below. Uh, only customers who buy coffee at the cafe can use a smart plug for 30 minutes. Or only residents of a multi-family housing unit can use a smart plug located in the parking lot of the housing unit. And uh, electricity bending machine. Uh, these examples clearly demonstrated IoT and blockchain. Uh, and we also implemented the smart plug project in various architecture to research the best architecture of Internet of Things and blockchain. Uh, we developed the microcomputer-based pseudo uh, PSB wallet in some architectures. This is a demonstration video. Uh, sorry, which include some Japanese. This video shows uh, electricity vending machine by Bitcoin payment. The supply of electricity is started by zero confirmation of payment. Uh, as a result of this attempt, we found that some basic characteristics are uh, incompatible. Combining Internet of Things and uh, cryptocurrency is a difficult problem. Mm. The majority of Internet of Things applications need a uh, real-time response. As the public blockchain has block time, we use the uh, zero confirmation scheme for this prototype. The zero confirmation scheme presents some risks. Mm. When we use a server to avoid real-time payment risk, we lose uh, essential characteristics, P2P. Uh, every transaction requires uh, the fee, and the fee process is unstable and too expensive for micropayment. When we learned of the concept of micropayment channel, we hypothesized that this scheme might solve the problem. We began, then we began secondary solution research. Uh, based on the writing network paper written by Taj and Poon, we developed hub type secondary software prototype in February 2017. This prototype incorporates a uh, micropayment channel and HTLCS but it does not have a routing, routing feature. It's not a decentralized system, but a middleman cannot steal the money. At that time, I assumed the routing to be very difficult and uh, the market needed to have type secondary solution. This prototype is developed by Python and uses a connectable Arduino board. It means the Arduino shield for, uh, for secondary payment. Through development of this prototype, we learned many things about secondary technology. We learned the protocol is very complicated. Validation and verification are very difficult problem. At the same time, we saw both the specification on GitHub. 
So we began to study Bolt specification because we thought that standard specification would provide a solution for verification and validation. Then we developed terminal software, which is compliant with Bolt specification. In this implementation, we use C language. When we started developing terminal software, we wanted a small print writing network software similar to our implementation of fast layer smart plug. Uh, we use embed crypto library. Uh, embed is uh, ARM microcontroller system. Yeah. But gradually, we came to understand the software requires much memory and storage. So the uh, current implementation of Terminal is not a small footprint. There is a possibility that the future protocol improvements will allow a small footprint and small factor hardware writing network software. It needs more breakthrough. And there, there are restricted future in current version of Tamiyan, it, ta it runs on testnet only, and the number of channels is fewer than 10. We will remove these restrictions in a few months. And it cannot handle concurrent multiple HTLC commitment. We will continue to discuss these restrictions and improve Tamiyan software. Uh, in our test, Termigan communicates well with other implementations. It can send and receive Bitcoin in mixture networks. Uh, and Termigan can make payment for coffee at the famous Starbucks site when ballot pass exists. Every day, every implementation are improved. We need to select the right version to communicate to other implementations. Through our development experience, interoper interoperability test is a time consuming task. So, so now we are developing Wireshark plugin for Bolt specification. It's just the alpha developing phase, but uh, it already can decode the noise protocol and it already can decode some bolt message until key rotation happens. Uh, currently, Wireshark plugin get private key through terminal log file. After completion of key rotation adaption, we will define private key interface between, between implementation and Wireshark plugin. Uh, if people can see many implement, implementation bolt message, on Wireshark, which will be useful for interoperability test and another new implementation development. I think that it will be also useful for writing network, network protocol education. The development of original bot software is useful for the following. First, it's a very useful aid for understanding the protocol. Bolt specification is very complex. It's a, it is the most complex protocol I've seen in my years as an engineer. If we don't implement our own Bolt specification, we cannot understand the protocol in detail. Through development of our own software, we can provide feedback to other implementations. Because we have open source, open source culture and the concept of decentralization, it is our pleasure to offer feedback to foster protocol development. Uh, and because she writing is the most closest implementation to the board, we mostly provide feedback to she writing. Uh, of course, we believe our own implementation will be useful for protocol improvement research in the future. 
Okay. Finally, I'd like to explain electric vehicle charge proof of concept experiment conducted in conjunction with a Japanese large electric power company. We conducted the POC experiment with uh, Japan's second largest electric power company, Chubu Denryoku, and uh, the IT company in Foteria. Nowadays, many people who, who are working in electric power area has strong interest of distributed power system. Uh, crypto, cryptocurrency is one of the key technology of it. The reason why Chubu Denryoku did this experiment is study of such distributed power system. In this experiment, we successfully charge electric vehicle using Lightning Network payment. We used a smart plug with Terminal software. The mobile application is just GUI of Terminal server. In this experiment, we also conducted an um, EV charge payment by first layer zero confirmation. In that architecture, Infotria developed uh, char charge management web application. Okay. This is a magnified video. Although the, the operation appears to be exactly the same as the confirmation demonstration, this type of payment does not present uh, the same inherent, inherent risks. The benefit of uh, using Lightning Network for IoT uh, as follows. When the payer and the payee agree to funding transaction with the network, the payment is processed in real time. In future, I, and in future IoT era, the number of transactions will be extremely large. Lightning network technology has the capacity to handle such situation. And this slide shows the hardware architecture for of both fast layer version and the Lightning Network version of the smart plug. Another part is the same. It consists of solid state relay, switch logic, and other small part. Digital part is completely different. Fast layer version consists of embed MPU, Wi Fi module, and BLE module. Lightning Network version consists of Raspberry Pi 3. This demonstration experiment has been featured in many media such as CoinDesk and Cointelegraph. And demonstration. I have brought the new version of a smart plug, but some trouble happened. In these days, in, in these few de in these days, Bitcoin testnet fee is extremely high, and I can't make channel from mobile to our writing node. <laughs> I, I already have taken the demonstration maybe before I leave Japan. Let me show you it. And, and this slide shows whole system structure uh, for demonstration. New version smart plug can generate invoice by NFC dynamic tag. And Anton's, Anton's Lightning Wallet, mobile wallet, can get invoice by NFC. Then I make payments through another terminal node. Lightning node does not advertise publicly because current Raspberry Pi terminal is not stable to handle large gossip data and Bitcoin D data simultaneously. We are developing uh, gossip query function and uh, interface for SPV wallet of new version of Termian. After completion of that function, we think this smart plug can 
connect any open Lightning Network nodes stable. This is a movie feature I already taken. We can see the NFC dynamic tag invoice recipient and payment from mobile Lightning world. <laughs> okay. Uh, I brought smart plug. I cannot make payment from mobile phone now, but I can show payment from our writing network node on cloud. I set up set up smart plug uh, in the next room lobby. I'm glad to have a discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you. We want to understand the detail of the protocol completely. Uh, if we do not develop our own software, I think we can't understand the detail because the uh, protocol is uh, very complicated. I, I have never seen such a complicated protocol in my, in my life. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, we want to. Uh, make future re research. It, it, our own software is useful for research. Did you find things that like to be added? Are there, are there things you would like added to like this? You mean? Uh, did, you, we, did you add the coordinates? When? When? <laughs> so, sorry, so, sorry. So I'm not a good English committee. Thank you very much.